Last time we derived a recurrence relationship for Laguerre polynomials using uh, the Laguerre polynomial generating function, which I'll, I'll remind you is this. Uh, it's, it's, it's the fact that a sum or series from n equals zero to infinity of t to the n with its coefficients being Laguerre polynomials, L sub n of x, uh, this is equal to a nice function, uh, one over one minus t, e to the minus t x divided by one minus t. And by taking a derivative with respect to t, we were able to derive a recurrence relationship for Laguerre polynomials. Uh, now I want to do something similar. Um, I, I want to take a, recur a derivative to get a recurrence relationship, but instead of taking the derivative with respect to t, I want to take the derivative with respect to x. And so let's see what happens when we do that. So if we take an x derivative of both sides, uh, what do we get? We get sum n equals zero to infinity, t to the n ln prime of x. And this is equal to, uh, equal to what? Well, uh, taking this exponential uh, derivative with respect to x is easy. We're gonna get uh, minus t over one minus t squared e to the minus tx over one minus t. Okay, great. Uh, but we can do the same type of thing that we did last time and notice that uh, this function right here actually can, or, or part of this can be rewritten in terms of this series right here. And, and in fact, we can, uh, we can write this whole guy right here as minus t over one minus t sum n equals zero to infinity t to the n ln of x. And so you can already see that we're relating a, a series in Laguerre polynomials to a series in uh, the derivative of Laguerre polynomials. Okay, uh, so what do we do next? Well, uh, we, want, we want t's in the numerator, so we multiply both sides by one minus t. So we have uh, one minus t times sum n equals zero to infinity t to the n ln prime of x equals, equals what? It's equal to minus sum n equals zero to infinity t to the n plus one L sub n of x, L sub n of x. Okay, okay, great. Uh, so now, now the only thing left to do is to uh, expand this left-hand side a bit and re-index everything such that we just have uh, t to the n's here. And then, yeah, and then, and then, then we'll essentially have our recurrence relationship. Uh, and so let's let's do that. So we can rewrite this left-hand side as uh, sum n equals zero to infinity t to the n ln prime of x minus sum n equals zero to infinity t to the n plus one ln prime of x is equal to uh, minus minus sum n equals zero to infinity t to the n plus one ln of x. Okay, great. Now let's start doing some reindexing. So this first term right here is is good. It's already in terms of t to the n, so we don't have to modify it at all. Um, but the second term, let's take a look at this. We need to do a little work here. So uh, the first term in this series is, so n equals zero corresponds to t to the one. So let's start our, our sum at n equals one. So then we'll have uh, t to the n. And then this, uh, this ln right here needs to then be shifted down by one. So that way it's the same. Okay, uh, what about this right hand side? Well. Our right-hand side, same type of story. Um, we have this n plus one right here, and so we need to uh, shift our start our start our sum at n equals one, and then we'll have t to the n just like we would want it times l n minus one of x. Okay, perfect. Uh, now that we have this, we can drop the sums, drop the t to the n's because those are common to every term in the series, and what we're left with is l n prime of x minus ln minus one prime of x equal to minus ln minus one of x. And there's a very nice way of writing this, which is uh, as this, it's saying that, and I'll write it, um, I'll write it over here in red. Uh, it's saying that ln prime of x is equal to ln, ln minus one prime of x minus L n minus one of x. And so this is actually a very, a very nice, very clean recurrence relationship that we have right here. Because what, what, what are we saying? We're saying that 
uh, if you want to get the derivative of your nth uh, Laguerre polynomial, all you need to know is your previous Laguerre polynomial. And then if you take the difference of its derivative with itself, then you get you get the next one. And so this is this is actually a, a very a very nice, very clean recurrence relationship. You know, it's, it's not often that you find something as nice as this. Um, okay. Uh, the the only last thing I'll add is that sometimes um, some people like to rewrite this in in a, a slightly different way. They like to say that um, the derivative of ln of x is equal to uh, d d x minus one of ln of x, and, and this is just saying the same thing as it is up here, but using a, a slightly may, maybe a little nicer notation, which is just saying that uh, the derivative of ln of x. And this should be n minus one. Is just applying this operator right here onto your previous uh, Laguerre polynomial, and so that, that, that's the way that some people like to write it. Um, uh, but I think I will I will stop there. We we we've 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 now learned a little bit about the derivatives of Laguerre polynomials, and in particular that um, if you want to calculate one, all you need to know is your previous Laguerre polynomial.